Young Show. Hello. There have been so many stories about the obtuseness of the Oriental mind. Have you ever wondered what the Oriental mind might think of us? Well, we asked you that same question last year, and we went to Korea for our answer. And now our story. It's Korea, 1954. That's good Virginia hands, Sonny. We're not in the army. We're just working for it. Now, go on. You need it yesterday. Tim will fix up for you. No, no, thank you. I can do it. You, uh, you got your papers? Sure, lady. Lots of papers. Oh, aren't you the smart one? You know very well what papers I'm talking about. We just got here yesterday, but fortunately, the first thing the colonel told us was, don't do business with the Koreans who don't have certified papers. Now, no papers, on your way. Out, out, out. Do you make fire, lady? No. Lady, no make fire. Not oh. yet, anyway. Cool, wet. You leave out. Hmm, I know. Now, you go out. You go make fire. Good, okay? But, open, please. Uh, have I no metal teeth? You know, lady. Yeah, I know. Well, try your luck with that fire. Try my luck trying to find the metal teeth. Well, say that again. You sure are a smart one. <laughs> How would you like some hot food? Okay, lady. What you mean, Kimco? Cadillacs always do the same thing to me. Cadillac? Yeah. Cadillac, okay. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. I see you already made the coffee. Sit, lady. Oh. Yeah. Sure will. Thank you. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Mr. Rock? Mm-hmm. He'll be in as soon as he smells his coffee. What Mr. Do for Army? Oh, uh, he's setting up an auditing system for the Army Post Exchange. Ooh, Mr. Smart. Mm, save your compliments for Mr. Doesn't think you ought to stay here since you have no papers. No papers? No, nothing, lady. Mm, Would well, you just save your sad looks for Mr. Too? Because I'm for you. Yeah, anybody who can light that stove is essential in my book. Hey, pour him a cup. You just may let you stay at that. Okay, kid, on your feet. You're overdoing it a little. Sure, mister. Okay. Coffee? Thanks. 
Nice and warm in here, hmm? Mm-hmm. Who oh, no. Lighting that stove is practically a lost art. Mr. Smith has us well organized, don't you say? Mr. Smith? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Tim Coe here in Korea is just about as common as John Smith is at home, so I figure what common in one place is rare in another, and uh, he is rare. You know what I told you? Oh, honey, I know, but he told me that he is an orphan, but he has relatives in Seoul who will vouch for his character. I bet he does. But who's going to vouch for the relatives? Oh, honey, he worked like a dog yesterday getting this place in order. Ah, sweetheart, he works a little one day and he's got you sold. More coffee, mister? Thanks. Coffee, pretty good, huh, mister? Yeah, pretty good. Lady? Mm -hmm. Hey, kid. Mrs. Gates wants you to stay on here with us. Sure. Okay, mister. Now, wait just a minute. We'll only give you a try. If you behave yourself and help Mrs., we'll pay you the same as the Army prescribes for houseboys. Mm. No pay. You, lady, good. You, mister, very, very good. No pay. Food. Oh, Mr. Smith, we've got to pay your salary. No pay. Food. Well, we feed you, too, of course. Six bits now, okay? You ever see such an eager beaver? This. Good place. Nice one here. Food. And maybe shoes. No pay. He likes it here. He's got you so soft enough the world is his. Ah. Well, not quite. But maybe I could manage to buy him a pair of shoes and so on. Morning, lady. Good morning. Whoa. Kimko, stay on. I know, I know. Oh, I see shoes, huh? Not on the occasion? Shiny. Hmm, I'll say they are. <laughs> Did you have a big time at House of Colonel last night? Very big. Mister, not with you yet this morning? Mm, Mister's not quite with anything yet this morning. Go see a relative in Seoul, okay? Sure, it's your day off. Go any place you like. Oh, uh, Mr. Smith. You think your relatives would like some chocolate and some cookies, maybe? Sure, lady. Okay. Um, uh, do you happen to know any of the houseboys who work at the Colonel's? Sure, lady. Well, last night the Colonel was very upset over the amount of stealing that's been going on. Kimiko no take. Kimiko good boy. No steal. No take. No, I know you wouldn't take anything. But from what the Colonel says, some of the other houseboys do. Now, I thought if you knew them, you could talk to them. You know, when you steal, you really only rob yourself. Rob self? Yeah, yeah. Self-respect and friends. You see, when you steal, people lose respect for you and you lose the friends. Now, we're outsiders. But I, I think we understand how hard it is for you all here now. And we'd like to help you. But when you steal, well, it makes it awfully tough for us to help you. Kim no take. No, I know you don't. So, tell the other boys not to take from the Colonel either, okay? Okay. Okay. So long, lady. So long. Have a good time. You know, that was fascinating, Mrs. Smith. Well, I have to take Mr. to the market. He'd get a kick out of it. Shit. Oh, I'm exhausted. How about getting us a Coke? Sure, lady. You know it. <laughs> this kimono is lovely. I'm so glad you insisted I buy it. Very nice. Tomorrow, uh, Mr. Home, Mr. Smith take you to Buddha's temple. Mm. Very old. Manse. What on up? <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Your garden is doing beautifully. The colonel's jealous, I think. Need water. When the sun goes away, water. <laughs> to you, Mr. Smith. You really have shown us the interesting things in Korea. I don't know what we would have done without you. I salute you. Salute you. Show me Coca-Cola. <laughs> It's a fair exchange of cultures, I guess. I got good news for you. What? We're going home. You don't mean it. When? Could be a month. Could be tomorrow. I, I can't believe it. Tomorrow? <laughs> oh, Ed. Now, wait a minute, honey. More like two weeks. Oh. The colonel said he'd get us the first passage available. Oh, home. <laughs> oh, that means a gas stove and all the hot water we want and supermarkets and whipping cream. <laughs> oh, Ed, it's been so long. Yeah, it sure has. But now we're going to go home, honey. Let's have a beer to it. <laughs> you bet. You're not kidding, are you? No, this is for real. parties keep up at this rate, they'll have to pack us home on a hospital ship. Yeah. Hey, honey. Hmm? What'd you do with my good dress shirt? Didn't do anything with it. Well, it's not on a hanger and it's not in my dresser. Oh, you took it to Poussin with you on your last trip. Maybe you left it in the hotel. You're always leaving things there, you know. No, I've worn it since then. Uh, last week at the Ulands. Oh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't want to, but... But what? Come on, but what? Well, uh, this afternoon when I was checking the linen, I, uh... You came up short, huh? Yeah. Uh, four sheets and, uh, eight pillowcases. Mr. Smith certainly has been busy. Oh, now, Ed, we're not sure. We don't know that. No, but tomorrow's his day off, and we're going to take an inventory and find out. Uh, honey, why don't you wear one of those plain white shirts? They'll never know the difference. sheets and the pillowcases. My five shirts and good linen jacket. That's right. There are over a dozen handkerchiefs and some underwear. I'm not quite sure how much. And then there's my yellow kimono, the one he insisted I buy at the thieves market. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cute. I wonder how many times that kimono has been sold at his insistence. I just cannot believe that he's done this to us. I just can't believe it. Somehow or I felt that it, that, oh well. Doesn't matter now what I felt, does it? But it does, really, Ed. I... I'm awfully disappointed. I feel kind of sick inside. Oh, look, honey, let's just forget it. You mean not even mention it to him, just ignore it? Well, what good is it gonna do? He's gonna look you straight in the eye and deny it. Oh. Now, look, we're only gonna be here another week. Let's make it a pleasant one. Pleasant. I wish he wouldn't come back. Maybe he won't. Oh, he'll be back. He'll be here to the bitter end. Just keep an eye on him. See that he doesn't take too much more. You know, it'd be kind of nice to have just a few mementos left from our Korean trip. Oh, Ed, don't talk about him as if he were a little monkey stirring up nuts. Well? Mr. 
Yes. Oh, hi, lady. Coca-Cola? No, not right now. Come on over here a minute, will you? Sure thing. Sit down. Mr. Smith, lady not happy. Mr. not happy. Oh? Lady lose clothes. Mr. lose clothes. Do you take? Oh, me? No. No, Kimko say good boy. No take. Okay. We'll be gone tomorrow anyway, so we'll forget this. Let's just remember the good times we've had and that we were... Friends, that's right, lady. Oh, well, he's gone. And so is the new footlocker. No. Guess he needed it to cart the loot away. I didn't even bother to say goodbye. I don't understand it. Honestly, I just don't understand. Honey, don't try. I suppose. To have someone a part of your life for almost a whole year, and then they just walk away as if they'd never even met you. You better get some sleep. We've got a 30-mile drive into Incheon. I know. We better allow ourselves about two hours in that Jeep. Oh, by the way, for once in our life, Mrs. Gates, we've got to be on time. We miss this ship. No telling when two more births will be available. I just don't understand him. And he certainly didn't understand us. There you go. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your stay in colorful Korea. As a matter of fact, we did, Sergeant. Well, it beats me. You better hurry, folks. You're the last ones through. Oh, are we? And kiss the bartender at the top of the mark for me. You bet I will. Mr. Gates, tags for your hand luggage. Okay, so, thanks. Mr. Smith. Hi, lady. Came to make sure we got off, I guess. Hi, mister. Hi, Mr. Smith. Finally decided to say goodbye, did you? A present. The footlocker. What do you think he's up to? I don't know. You can find out. I'll finish up here. Remember, we only got a minute, though. Well, how in the world did you ever get down here? We get here. Ah. I'm glad we didn't have to leave without saying goodbye. Here, lady. Mr. Smith and relative can't say bye-bye. Oh, oh, how do you do? Bring presents. Oh? No bad. No still clothes. Mr. and Mrs. Stick. That's side, see? Why, she? Why, that's beautiful. Oh, and, and shirt. Shampoo make. Oh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I... My kimono. And a body and how money made. Oh, why, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, and Mr. Jacket. This everybody made. You mean, you mean you ordered that, all that embroidery yourself? Mr. Smith and relative work needle night and day. Finishing time. So give Mrs. and Mr. presents. You like? Like? Why, I've just never seen anything so beautiful. Oh, thank you, thank you. Mr. Smith, tell them I thank them and, and I appreciate all the thoughts and the hours that they put in. So I got them for me and, and thank you. And I'm awfully sorry about it. You know what? Sure. Okay, lady. Mr. Smith, no take. Hey, no. Ma'am, will you come on? But... Ed, look. What do you got there? My kimono, your jacket, everything. Mr. Smith and his family embroidered them for us. Aren't they beautiful? Well, they certainly are. Thank you, Mr. Smith. That's oh. real nice of you. Sure, mister. No take. Oh, dear. Uh, 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 Sergeant. Uh, Sergeant, could you open this gate for us, please? Honey, he's not going to have time for this. Please, Ed. Uh, Mr. Smith, we, we have to hurry, but I'll write to you and carry the service club, and Mrs. Allison can read them for you. And, and I'll send you lots of chocolate. 
and uh, food and uh, hey, clothes and run for anything. When that anything. gangplank goes oh. up, it stays up. Sergeant, would you open the gate for us, please? Our houseboy has brought us these beautiful presents, and I want to take them. Oh, I can them. open the gate, but it won't do you any good. You what? can't take this stuff. It's too late. I've got to take it. They're presents. I've got to take it. Lady, I'd like to help you, but it's too late. The hatches are down. You can't take a footlocker up the gangplank as hand luggage. But please, Sergeant, we've got to take them. They're presents. Look, kid, where did you get that, Luke? Those things belong to us. He took them to embroider them. And we've got to take them with us. Now, open the gate, please, Sergeant. Did you give them to him, or did they just disappear one by one? What do you mean? What makes you think he stole them? Oh, I've seen this trick before. They rob you blind, then show up here at the docks ready to give it back, knowing full well it's too late for you to get it aboard. S -s Sergeant, all, all the embroidery and everything... This so thing. what? A little embroidery brings a little extra money at the market. Now, you better get going. They won't wait, I tell you. Come on, honey. I I'll make a run for the gangplank and hold it. Hurry up now, please, Cap, please. Lady, your husband can't hold that ship. I know the captain. Now, if you want, I can put this stuff on the next ship and send it to you. All right? That's the best I can do. Now, you better get going. Thank you, sir. And quick. Well, goodbye, Mrs. Smith. wrote, everyone I meet is my superior in some way in that I learn from him. Now, good night, and we'll see you next week.